You look like a puppy from the future. You look like a puppy from the future. You don't like it, do you? You don't like it one bit. No. You don't want to be a puppy from the future? Okay, mommy does though. Well, she doesn't want to be a puppy. Who the hell is that? Welcome to another edition of Hunchback Diaries. This episode we're gonna jump right in because I did a little challenge with myself. I head to the dollar store, try to find myself as many little items as I can find for under $5 to make a pair of goggles. Here we go. Let's see what we got from the dollar shop. We got just some plain ass goggles. Oh, these are super safe. You can just, you know, feel the safety in these goggles. I went with two of these LED push lights. They're kind of chunky. Three triple A's. That's bananas. Like I said, it's like one of those. And this funky dunk tape. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna do things to the camera. That's it. So I mean, this isn't gonna be anything too crazy at this point. It's just gonna be these on here. So I'm gonna embellish this and kind of build it up. What I'm gonna do is recreate this. I made this back in January <laughs> with a bunch of images I found on the internet. I find it through a bunch of random so stock photo sites. So what I want to do is recreate this with all my own photos. And this is going to be Sarah. These look like just plain old kind of sunglasses that the model was wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that even when these things have batteries in them, they're not going to be that cool. I don't know if they should be out more. They should. So the way these goggles sit. See, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of found the stuff. I spent $4, you know, just under 5 with change. And I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet. But I'm going to start by gluing this shit on and see what happens. Hope this doesn't melt the plastic. Oh, need more glue. Squirt. And I'm also not really concerned with Sarah seeing because it's not a video shoot, it's just a photo shoot, you know? She can live without sight for a bit. Ooh, that's hot! Pressing it in. These would protect you from like, I don't know, pencil shavings. <laughs> Maybe from a pillow fight, I would wear these goggles. That's what Sarah's gonna see. <laughs> More hot glue! And I learned from my mistakes, I'm not gonna touch it. All right. Well, I'd say that's successful. So now, I'm gonna start by wrapping this with this, closing those in. Be up through here. I'm building it up. Oh, it does rip. All right, I was just being a sissy. Seeing how you're not really going to see these super up close in the shot, I'm not overly concerned with how pretty they look. I just want them to look kind of good enough, you know? Using the factory edge. I can come back with and clean this stuff up a little bit. Trying to make sure I get my stuff just right. Oops, on. 
super interesting. Oh, well, that'll work. Thanks, mistake. I'm gonna, uh, I can imagine this is getting boring. I'm gonna just wrap this and I'll, I'll come back in. All right. That did not take me very long at all. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. Didn't even take me that much tape. Still a bunch left. So, good place to start. Kinda wanna see what these look like on somebody. They look pretty neat. And that's what I'm going for. I'm going somewhere between steampunk, I'm going for like a steampunk mad scientist vibe. Find me in my laboratory! I don't know. It's scavenge time. I just found some of these like furniture pads. I'll wait, I'm left over. I think I could probably use these to embellish. But I'm going down to the creepy creepy. Better known as the basement. It is so creepy down here. Oh my god. Seems like somebody's already down there. I mean, it always feels like there's somebody watching. Who the hell is that? Oh, uh, hi. It's just me. Let's, uh, let's go in here to the basement. A uh, bunch of random stuff over there. Box in here. I'm gonna do something with those floppy disks. Is this it? Ooh, I have those. <laughs> those are pasties. Alright, that's a box of goodness right there. Um, Ninja Turtle, because you know that's always. Useful. More of those friggin' floor things. Alright, I'm not gonna, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, that's interesting. These are a bunch of bubbles from our wedding. I don't know what the hell's on the top of them. I'm gonna use these. I'm glad I came back in here. I always keep stuff like this. I always keep stuff because I'm never really sure when I'm going to use it, but I always use stuff. So even right now, I'm still looking for stuff. All right, I found enough. Time to get to work. I need to try this. I think this is kind of an interesting shape. I'm going to put it on the side. A little dab will do this. Come on. Do a little awkward welding. Just like that. Basically what I'm looking for. So if you're like me, you have a weird brother. We have a little brother that has, I don't know, I, I collect all this stuff. And he had, I guess he would use these for airsoft. I'm not really sure, but they're cool shells. So I'm gonna tack these together. Tacky poo. Ow! Ow, it hurts my fingers. I think I meant to do it the other way, but I'm gonna go with this. One, because it's already stuck. Two, it's because it's already stuck. It's broke. Um. Ow! Oh, wow! Wow, wow! Hot glue is hot. Who would have guessed? Nice. With a little bit of this, we wrapped it around these. I wrapped it around, just gave it a little embellishment. Then I also wrapped it around the two tops. That's basically how I'm building this thing. If I think it looks cool, I'm going to do it. So, skulls I think. I'm gonna pop here on the side like that. Just gonna be a little side embellishment. That looks kinda cool. Waiting, 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 waiting. So that's what it looks like. Double glued. So these still are too plain. I got these little random screw things. I don't know, I'm gonna embellish them on another side like that. Let me find something else. I don't know. Embellish. Embellish, embellish, embellish. Progress. Those things are on. 
I think I'm going to do a little more tape embellishing, probably off camera, but then I'm going to call it a night and come back to this tomorrow. I'll clean this up tomorrow. Clearly it's daytime now and with just a shopping marker, I embellished the crap out of this thing. Went through in here, went on here, hello. Anyway. I'm going to take Sarah's photo. Time to collect some textures. Alright, it's photo editing time and this video is getting kind of long so I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I did. If you want to see a whole video of the Photoshop side of this, leave me a comment and if I see enough people wanting to see it, I'll, I'll, I'll make it for you. But in terms of this video, what I did was I went and got a bunch of photos. So I started with that photo of Sarah, my beautiful. And then I went and got pots and pans. Pretty much every pot and pan we own. Then I went through my phone. I found this picture of the trees in the sky, which looked pretty nice. I have paint on the newspaper downstairs from the Creepy Creepy. Another picture of the paint from the downstairs in the Creepy Creepy. This pink blue blur thing. I brought back that straws photo that was on my phone. And I took a picture of our sink after I brushed my teeth. And using the power of Photoshop, I combined them all together and made it look like this. So that cool piece of art is available right now on my Redbubble store. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link right here. Uh, it would really help if you guys check it out and give me a support. If you like it, you can get on a whole bunch of different items or a piece of apparel, maybe a cup. I don't know. Whatever. The choice is yours and yours alone. Choose wisely. But that's going to do it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. Next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to make something, but you'll have to come back and see what it is. But until then... You make more, do more, be more, and I'll catch you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.